The CEO of Dassault Aviation has said that Pakistan's claim about downing three Rafales is not true, and he confirmed that no Indian Rafale fighter jets have been lost in combat to enemy fire. However, Trapier also acknowledged a separate incident involving Rafale aircraft that suffered a technical failure at over 12,000 meters, and the event did not involve enemy contact, and an investigation into the technical cause is currently underway. French intelligence has concluded that China used its embassies to discredit the performance of Rafale fighter jets after the May 2025 clashes between India and Pakistan. Chinese defense attaches actively lobbied countries like Indonesia to cancel further Rafale purchases, promoting Chinese J-10C instead. Hindustan Aeronautics is set to conduct the first test of the Astra Mark 1 missile from the Tejas Mark 1A in August 2025, that will assess Astra Mark 1's performance with the new Israeli LM-2052 radar, and pave the way for full operational certification. India has decided to transfer the debris from Chinese-supplied PL-15 air-to-air missiles to a friendly nation upon its request. China's offer to supply 40 J-35A fifth-generation stealth fighter jets to Pakistan at 50% discounted price has hit a roadblock, as China has demanded a US-style monitoring system of J-35A through ground staff and technical agreements, to prevent potential access of J-35A by American personnel. A senior official of Israel's Rafale Advanced Defense Systems has said that Israel has offered the Sky Sting 6th generation long range air to air missile to India for integration on board Su 30 and other combat aircraft. Powered by a three pulse rocket motor, the Sky Sting boasts a range of 250 kilometers and is equipped with highly advanced radio frequency seeker featuring sophisticated electronic counter countermeasures capabilities. Indian Defence Secretary R.K. Singh has said that the import of a fifth-generation fighter jet from Allies is under consideration as a short-term measure for the Indian Air Force. The AMCA is still a decade away from service, that has prompted consideration of interim solutions. Russia has offered 60 Su-57 fifth-generation fighter jet with full technology transfer and source code access and local production rights potentially fielding at least two squadrons by 2028. India is considering to develop a nuclear-armed torpedo that can be integrated on the smart missile that will have the capability to destroy entire naval groups, disrupt anti-submarine warfare networks, and target key coastal infrastructure with minimal warning. Integrating the 30 km range nuclear torpedo armed with 200 kilotons warhead could neutralize carrier groups or submarine formations in a single strike. Former US F-15E pilot Ryan Bordenheimer has called the Indian Air Force's tactics against Pakistan as the best spoofing and deception ever seen, and he credited the Rafale's ex-Gar jamming decoy. Integrated into the Rafale Spectra EW suite, the X-Guard is a 30 kg towed decoy that emits 360 degrees jamming signals mimicking a real jet, that fooled active seekers on Pakistan's 8 PL-15E missiles recovered in India, and that Pakistani claims of downed rafils were in fact successful decoy deployments. The DRDO is developing a multi-static radar system, that is capable of detecting low observable targets like stealth aircraft drones and missiles. The multi-static radar will use spatially dispersed transmitters and receivers to capture scattered signals from multiple angles, and will integrate advanced signal processing machine learning and data fusion, to reconstruct targets even in contested environments. The distributed nature of multi-static radar also makes it more resilient to jamming and electronic countermeasures. Today's top 3 comments 